What's up guys, today is Monday, that means it's Cornwell Monday, and we're on Mr. Joe's Toolbox Trailer, and uh, Bill's got a pretty good size purchase, so you guys hang in there and see what he got. What you doing, Bill? Fixing to get a roll card, I guess. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? I got a great deal for Bill. A great deal. A great this deal. Is a super awesome deal. Like, you know, most people, when they rob somebody, they go to prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he almost robbed you. And, and, and he says, come back next week. That's <laughs> yeah. But I think we're talking about this deal over here for Mr. Clay. Should I just pull it out? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's where mine is. Because it don't walk had to knock off automatically $200 for the Chevrolet sticker and another $200 for the Silverado sticker. Hey, you got more GM stickers up here. $100 on the International. <laughs> another 50 on the Cummins. There's another Chevrolet sticker down there. That's another 100 Another 100 for the International. So that's like $900 we had to take off. Well, the reason why they're dropping it is because they don't need the warranty because it's going to last forever for the bow tie stickers. Quarter inch ratchet on one end. We got the bit driver on the other. Set of Milwaukee uh, wrenches. Got some vice grips. Ten locks. Pair of nipics in there. Yep. Oil filter wrenches. We got the Milwaukee half inch compact gun. Mm -hmm. we've, done, we've done a couple on this. Got a CRP 123 launch cold reader. We have the gear wrench, indexable, expendable. This is for your short game. That's right. You could put with that, Mr. Joe. It's about the right height. Uh, It'll take about two weeks of scrubbing with good gum to get all the stickers off of it. But even though we deduct all those, we got a Vampire 2 sticker on there, so that kind of offsets all the uh, deductions. Yeah, but we got $1,100 worth of red <laughs> stickers on there. Oh, at shit. least. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got to leave mine there because you got the girly on there. Who knows? Yeah, I don't need her ass either. <laughs> I got all the girl I need. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to think about it. We'll go. Uh, we're going to load in a little bit, but we got to go on the other side and talk about a couple other things. There you go. Y'all hang in there. Thank you, guys. There'll be no tax. What is that, Bill? He said something about tax. He didn't say nothing about tax a little while ago. <laughs> oh. Oh. If, I could, oh. if I could get away with it, I would. All day, every day. But what do you think about that, they, Bill? They don't do that to me. I don't know what to think about that. I just added more to it, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, make me rethink the whole situation. You know, no. What's that? The, what you know, if I could say back in the, if the I could, no if I could keep that. Without what? Representation well, with it? Right. Yeah, I'm here every week for you. <laughs> <laughs> Enough representation for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, is your heart, can you feel it fluttering? That bothered you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I got me here uh, Bundy's expendable claws for going in and picking up something. But if you can't see what it is you're getting, it gets pretty hard. So what we do is we turn the light on. And as you can see, it's got a light. Try to put somewhere where we can. So I can reach down in here in a dark area, 
See what it is I'm looking to pick up. I see you fish that tax out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice right there. Especially with a line in it. This is an almond or human or Old however man. you want to pronounce it. It's a 16 LT. 16 LT. And they are, I think it's 17 bucks. 17 dollars. Now this here is a Lyle 57180. It's an oil filter for the Cummins from 13 to 17 Dodge Ram Cummins 2500 3500s. Okay. Now what it is is the oil filter goes in a tight area. You're usually right. twisting it, bending it, and you're spilling oil all over the place. So this screws on. As you see, it caps off the oil so it don't spill, so you can actually hold it upside down, get it in where you need it, need screw it, it screw get it, get it in the tight yeah. spots, screw it in, That's and it don't make a idea. mess. You don't have to clean up a big mess, customers don't complain. And they're like, uh, I think these are 15 bucks. 15 dollars, you can't beat that. So, now, I'm, like unless I'm, fluid. I'm either this last stick, this is 17, this is 15, or this is 17, this is 15, but I got it in the computer, it's just, right. it's right there. You say that much and break cleaner. Yep. Cleaner up on that. Power Probe 4. Yeah, buddy. They're awesome. They're awesome. I have the kit here. Um, it does a whole lot. It'll show you resistance, it can show you peak resistance. Uh, you probably know a whole lot more about it than I do. Gives you your volts, um, average peak to peak, um, your AC arm uh, rams, your frequency. It's a handy tool. It comes here with the uh, 20 foot extension on the cable, all the adapters you need in the box. Got the power probe, there's a real little number there, but if you just say power probe 4, we know what we're talking about. Right. These are $2.99. $2.99. I got one of them, and when you meet them, them things are worth every single penny. I, I told you all how I was looking forward to being here last week, but uh, you didn't see me whining and crying or anything like that, but uh, the Sunday before, or that whole weekend, was our last gun season hunting in Tennessee. Now, Mississippi, you got all month yet. But that was our last weekend, so I decided I climbed up in the hollers and get up in there and go on the hills. But uh, the sun dried up all them leaves. They were kind of loud. I was going to go on down out and go on the bottom on the other side. So in between, in my hollers, I got this cascading, beautiful waterfall, slippery, um, Call it slick rock for anything else. It's just smooth. It's water runs on it every day of the year, every year for eons. And grows moss on it, which is makes it even more slippery. Mm -hmm. I think you got an idea where this is going. Yeah. So I'm I'm coming down. I'm being careful. You know, I, I've walked it many times, but every time you know different storms come through through the year, different trees are down in the way. You're walking over all this and that. Well, sure enough, a whom. I go down. Now my head don't hit. I make sure my rifle don't hit, but my elbows and everything else pretty much hit. Mm. And if it didn't hit that first part, because it's going downward, I'm not sure if I went one yard further or four yards further, but until I got to a big hole where there was a bunch of gravel in that to give me some friction and stop me uh, from going the rest of the way down. I was A, pretty wet, B, I knew I was going to be sore later. <laughs> and see, you had to be pissed off. It had to make you mad. Well, I looked at my rifle. I had water up in the barrel, water all over the skull, water all over the mag. I pretty much wasn't shooting to have a big old buck come across me, unless I could club him. So, uh, and the other thing was, I had about 300 more yards to go to, through that to get out of there, but I did. I was soaked from one end to the other. <laughs> I got home, I just undressed, it was early, and I was looking at me like, why are you quitting now? 
she didn't say anything. She just watched me hobble into the shower, took a nice warm shower for the day, and I sat down. Well, later that night, getting up to go to the kitchen, you would not think I would have been in here that next Monday, but I was just too excited to be here. And, <laughs> and real men don't cry or whine or complain, especially when you're doing something you want to be doing. That's right. That's right. So I was here, didn't say nothing to Bob, but I figured it'd give us something to talk about today. If, you know, and what sucks is if you fall working, that always hurts worse than if you fall doing something you enjoy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know. Later, I was pretty sore. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I walked down that again next year. Probably a couple times during the summer. Oh, excuse me. I think you heard Napa. But yeah, you, you can't beat that for anything. I'm going to jump out here, too. I appreciate it, Joe. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Mine. All right. We got a tip on the change. <laughs> Um, gets me anything you guys need, let me know. Um, I know it seemed like a whole different atmosphere, but it was a good day. What'd you say you was gonna start calling him, Molly? <laughs> Big money. Big money bill. Here's one of the things that I bought that Joe had in that repo box that he was showing, the Cornwell box. It's the Launch uh, Professional Series, the CRP123. I got it for a hundred bucks on a repo deal, so can't really complain about that. It's worth it. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down here. Like always, Mr. Joe's car will be right up here. If you guys need anything, be sure to give him a text message. Y'all guys have a great one, and we will catch y'all next time.